Hello, this is Barbara Lewis with Singing After 40. Welcome. This is a video that I'm doing just after having done my free weekly group warm-up for singers. And if you want to join that free warm-up on Zoom, the email address is just below here. So we started out with a breathing exercise and I'll do a very short version of that because I think it's an important one for we singers. So many of us think of ourselves as not being very creative. And so in this short breathing exercise, I want you to breathe in your creative self. And then as you breathe out, you're expressing your creative self. So it's very short, uh, but powerful. So here we go. Sitting tall, shoulders are broad, chin is level to the floor. You feel uplifted in your chest and you breathe in. And you exhale on a long held So you're breathing in your creativity, and when you breathe out, you're expressing it. Here we go. My creative self. And one more. Good. Each breath should be or could be a little bit longer since you're kind of developing your, your rib cage and your lungs, your lung capacity. All about creativity. Today we went into an exercise that I do almost every day myself. It's a good exercise to move you through your range. And some of you who have watched my videos will have done this before, but do it again, I suggest, because it's it just takes you through your whole range without pressure, without stress on the throat. It's a V, V-U-H, like this. It's like that, but I'm going to start lower. Here we go. I'll sing it. You can sing it with me if you know it, and then I'll leave space for you to do it. Here we go. Your turn. Some people find it easier if you keep an inner smile. The second part of our free warm-up was to have a look at the tongue so that you can see what the tongue is. See here's the upper part of the tongue that we see in our mouths, but look at what is underneath that. Look at that, that muscle, it's a very big, very powerful muscle. Apparently it's uh, the covering of it covers over eight different muscle groups in there and these muscle parts from the, the middle, the beginning, the middle, and the top here, can be moved distinctly. So it's a very interesting thing, and the tongue is very important in our singing. So if you have a moment, which we did in our, our workshop, take a, a mirror and have a look at your tongue. See where it sits. Look at it like this. 
See where your tongue just sits. I can do that with a thought. And this is what singers do. The tongue is a very important way to shape sound. So now I'm going to go into the next exercise that we did together. It's coming down on yum. Yum, 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 yum. Again, smile like a goof because this will help keep everything elevated in there. Yum, 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 yum. Your turn. After that, then we did moving from bottom to top, like this. So we're doing the full octave. We did yum coming down, a fifth. We're going to do yum going up, a full octave, like this. Yum, 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 yum. Big smile. Be really goofy in this one. Here we go. Yum, 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 yum. Your turn. Very good. So during the, the group session, there's a little bit of talking together, which I think is lovely for singers to have a little bit of, of chat together. Not too much because the session itself is only uh, 15 to 20. Uh, the maximum is 20 minutes, sometimes 15 to 18 minutes. Two or three exercises, a little bit of talking on my part about some aspect of singing. Last week it was a soft palate, this week it was the tongue. So if that interests you, please join us. Again, the email to send to me to be part of this is just below here. And I wish you a great singing day. And please think of yourself as a very creative individual because you are. See you next time. Bye-bye. Barbara Lewis with Singing After Four. My little cat tries to wake me up.